happy morning children i hope you all are safe at home so today i am going to teach you a new topic right so just before getting into the new topic let's revise the previous class i hope you all observed my last video class right children children you remember our lesson name is animals eating habits so can you tell me what are the four kinds of animals based on the eating habits yes they are herbivores carnivores omnivores and scavengers what are herbivores animals that eat only plants are called herbivores example sheep zebra giraffe and cow and what are carnivores animals that eat only flesh of other animals are called carnivores for example fox wolf lion and shark next omnivores what are omnivores animals that eat both plants as well as flesh are called omnivores for example hen rat crow dog bear and pig right and what does mean by scavenger animals that eat flesh of dead animals or decaying animals are called scavengers for example vulture hyena and all scavengers right children and how do animals eat children animals eat in different ways i have told you know what are they can you tell me some animals like squirrel rabbit rat and all gnaw their food no or nibble their food so they have very short front teeth to nibble or no they are fur and some like cow buffalo goat and all chew their curd so those animals have strong and broad grinding teeth to chew the fur some animals like snake frog and all swallow their fur swallow means what children mulungirad okay but why children they are swallowing their fur because they don't have biting or chewing teeth like other animals right and next some animals like tiger lion leopard and all tear and chew their flesh tear and chew the flesh so they have two kinds of teeth i mean they have front teeth and back teeth so their front teeth will be very sharp pointed and curved to tear the flesh as well as they have strong and broad grinding teeth 
at the back of their mouth to chew the flesh of animals and some animals like frogs lizards and chameleon have sticky tongue to catch their prey and some insects like mosquitoes butterflies and bees use their thin tube to suck their fur okay children let's get into our new topic food chain in nature we all depend upon each other here a food chain describes how different organisms eat each other for survival here organism means what children uyirinam ella uyirgalum which means all plants animals and human beings also and next what does mean by survival survival means தொடர்ந்து நம்ம வாழ்றது அதாவது உயிர் தப்பி வாழ்றது ஓகே த ஃபுட் செயின் யூஸ்வலி ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் வித் அ பிளான்ட் அண்ட் என்ஸ் வித் அண்ட் அனிமல் அதாவது இந்த ஃபுட் செயின் ஒரு பிளான்ட்லேருந்து தான் நமக்கு ஸ்டார்ட் ஆகுது ஸோ எப்படி முடியுது ஒரு அனிமல்லேருந்து தான் முடியுது ஓகே ஸோ த ஃபுட் செயின் ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் வித் a plant and ends with an animal clear a food chain contains three main things do you know what are they they are producers consumers and decomposers i repeat this children producers consumers and decomposers so here plants are called producers plants are called producers producer means what children producer means tayarikkaravanga i mean ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணுறவங்க உற்பத்தி பண்ணுறவங்க ஒரு ஃபுட்டை உருவாக்குறவங்க ஓகே பட் சில்ட்ரன் கேன் யூ டெல் மீ வாய் டு பிளான்ஸ் ஆர் கால்ட் ப்ரொடியூசர்ஸ் இங்கே நம்ம ஏன் பிளான்ஸை ப்ரொடியூசர்ஸ்னு சொல்கிறோம் பிகாஸ் பிளான்ஸ் மேக் தே ஆர் ஓன் ஃபுட் இங்கே பிளான்ஸ் என்ன பண்ணுது ஃபுட்டை தானாகவே தயாரிக்குது ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணுது ஐ ஹாவ் டோல்ட் யூ நோ பிளான்ஸ் ப்ரிப்பேர் தேர் ஓன் ஃபுட் வித் த ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் சன்லைட் வாட்டர் அண்ட் ஏர் ஐ வில் ரிப்பீட் திஸ் சில்ட்ரன் பிளான்ஸ் ப்ரிப்பேர் தேர் ஓன் ஃபுட் வித் த ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் சன்லைட் வாட்டர் and air plants are the only living being which creates new energy for the other living beings so plants are called producers right next consumers here consumers are in three types they are primary consumers secondary consumers and tertiary consumers i will repeat this children primary consumers secondary consumers and tertiary consumers okay children you may think what are primary secondary and tertiary right 
क्राइम रिमेन्स नथिंग बट चिल्ड्रन फर्स्ट स्टेज विल से फर्स्ट प्लेस सेकेंड प्लेस थर्ड प्लेस नो लाइक दैट प्राइमरी मीन्स फर्स्ट स्टेज सेकेंडरी मीन्स सेकेंड स्टेज एंड टर्शरी मीन्स थर्ड स्टेज राइट हियर एनिमल्स आर कॉल्ड कंज्यूमर्स दिस इज बिकॉज दे विल नॉट प्रोड्यूस एनर्जी दे विल जस्ट यूज इट अप animals that eat plants are called primary consumers or herbivores animals that eat other animals or secondary consumers or carnivores if a carnivore eat another carnivore is called tertiary consumers some animals play both roles eating both plants as well as animals so who are they as they are omnivores next decomposers here bacteria and fungi are decomposers they are also called detritivores you know they eat decaying matter it's nothing but decaying animals and plants which means dead plants and animals in this process they break them down and decompose them when that happens they release nutrients and minerals to the soil which is used by all plants so in the decomposers amdina பாக்டீரியாவும் அண்ட் ஃபங்கையும் பாக்டீரியா ஃபங்கை நம்மளால் கண்ணால் பார்க்க முடியுமா சில்ட்ரன் நோ இதன் எப்படி பார்க்க முடியும் ஒன்லி த்ரூ த மைக்ரோஸ்கோப் அவங்கெல்லாம் வெறும் ரொம்ப நுண்ணுயிரிகள் கண்ணுக்கே தெரியாத நுண்ணுயிரிகள் ஓகே ஸோ இவங்க எப்படி நமக்கு ஹெல்ப் பண்ணுறாங்க அப்படின்னா இறந்து போன அனிமல்ஸாக இருக்கட்டும் அது அனிமல்ஸாகவோ ஹியூமன் பீயிங்ஸாகவோ அந்த டெட் பாடிஸாக இருக்கட்டும் இல்லை ஒரு டெட் பிளான்ஸ் இறந்து போன ஒரு ட்ரீ ஒரு பிளான்ஸாக இருக்கட்டும் இதில் யார் கம்போஸ் பண்ணுறது டீகம்போஸ் பண்ணுறது இந்த பாக்டீரியா அண்டு ஃபங்கை தான் இவங்க என்ன பண்ணுறாங்கன்னா இந்த வேஸ்ட்டாக போன இந்த டெட் பாடிஸையும் டெட் பிளான்ஸையும் டீகம்போஸ் அதாவது அதை வந் அழுகி போனால் அந்த பாடியில் என்ன பண்ணுறாங்கன்னா அதை நல்லா சதைச்சி அதை டீகம்போஸ் விச் மீன் டீகம்போஸ் பண்ணி அதில் அதை வந்து மண்ணோட மண்ணாக மக்கி போக வச்சு மண்ணுக்கு உரமாக மாற்றுறாங்க மண்ணை வந்து வளமாக மாற்றுறாங்க ஓகே ஸோ அந்த மண்ணில் இருக்கிற அந்த ஒரு நியூட்ரிஷன் மினரல்ஸ் அப்படின்ற ஒரு எனர்ஜியை தான் எல்லா பிளான்ஸும் எடுத்துக்கிட்டு உயிர் வாழுது ஓகே சில்ட்ரன் So children i hope you all learned what are producers consumers and decomposers right so who are called com- producers plants who are consumers animals who are decomposers bacteria and fungi or decomposers clear children Okay as i have told you in nature we all depend upon each other for example the grasshopper depends upon the grass for its food 
The frog depends upon the grasshopper for its food. Similarly, the snake depends upon the frog for its food. Right? The snake finally gets eaten by this eagle. But how does this help the grass? When the eagle dies, its body decomposed and gets mixed in the soil. So who will decompose the eagle? Yes, the bacteria and fungi will decompose the body of eagle. So this helps the soil to become fertile. Fertile means what children? Valamana silipana. Okay. This is how all the dead plants and animals get decomposed by the decomposers. So, the grass and all the other plants grow well. This is called a food chain. So, children, can you tell me who is the producer? Yes, grass is a producer. And the grasshopper is a primary consumer. It is also called herbivore. Why? Because it eats only plants. Right? And frog is a secondary consumer. And it also called as carnivore. Why? Because frog eats only flesh of other animals. Right? Here, snake as well as eagle are called tertiary consumers. Why? Because? Why? Because one carnivore eats other carnivore. I repeat this children. Plants are producers, herbivores or primary consumers, carnivores or secondary consumers, snake and eagle or tertiary consumers. Right. Who are decomposers children? Yes, bacteria and fungi are called decomposers and what they will do is yes, they will do decompose the dead plants and animals so in the process of food chain grass is eaten by grasshopper and the grasshopper is eaten by frog and the frog is eaten by snake and finally the snake eaten by this eagle which means the eagle depends on snake the snake depends on frog the frog depends on grasshopper and the grasshopper depends on grass right and how does the grass get energy yes it gets energy from the soil with the help of decomposers which means bacteria and fungi this is how the energy moves from one organism to another in a given environment Children, now let's start to write the classwork. So now, take your EVS classwork. In last class, we have finished the first and second Roman. Right? So, turn 
to a new page to write third and fourth pattern and write the pattern number 3 start with capital letter g r o u and p give space and write t h e the a n i m a l s animals a c c o r d i n g according t o 2 and t h e i r there e a t i n g eating h a b i t s habits okay so now listen our third pattern is group g r o u p group the t h e the animals a n i m a l s animals according a c c o r d i n g according t o 2 there t h e i r there eating e a t i n g eating habits h a b i t s habits so third pattern is group the animals according to their eating habits right children so copy and write the third pattern in your class of children shall we move to the next one okay the first one is d e e r deer comma c h e e t a h cheetah comma again z e b r a zebra comma t i g e r tiger comma w o l f wolf comma h o r s 
E horse comma E L E P H A N T elephant comma L I O N line comma E A G L E eagle comma G I R A F F E giraffe Okay. I repeat this children. D D E E R D cheetah C H E E T A H cheetah zebra Z E B R A zebra tiger T I G E R Tiger Ulf W O L F Ulf Horse H O R S E Horse Elephant E L E P H A N T elephant line L I O N line eagle E A G L E eagle giraffe G I R A F F E giraffe copy and write children Next, draw a tabular column like this and write in the first column H in capital E R B I V O R E Herbio So in second column, write C in capital A R N I V O R E Carnivore. Right, children? So in first column, write Herbivore H E R B I V O or E herbivore. Next column carnivore. C A R N I V O R E carnivore. Children, next in the first column write capital D E E R D. Right. Next, Z E B R A Zebra Horse H O R S E Horse E L E P H A N T G I R A F F E Giraffe 
I repeat this children. Herbivore animals are D D E E R D Zebra Z E B R A Zebra Horse H O R S E Horse Elephant E L E P H A N T Elephant Giraffe D I R A F F E Giraffe So the herbivore animals are D Zebra Horse Elephant and Giraffe Ok children Next C H E E T A H Cheetah T I G E R Tiger W O L F Ulf L I O N Line This one is E A G L E Eagle so the carnivore animals are cheetah c h e e t a h cheetah tiger t i g e r tiger ulf w o l f ulf lion l i o n lion Eagle E A G L E Eagle So the carnivore animals are Cheetah Tiger Wolf Lion And Eagle Copy and write Write the Roman letter Four Start with capital letter A N S W E R Answer T H E The F O L L O W I N G following a fourth Roman is answer A N S W E R answer the T H E the following F O L L O W I N G following fourth Roman is answer the following right children copy and write now question number one capital F O R M form a F O O D Food C H A I N Chain W I T H With 
टी एच ई द एफ ओ एल एल ओ डब्ल्यू आई एन जी फॉलोइंग फोर्थ रोमन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फॉर्म एफ ओ और एम फॉर्म अ फूड एफ ओ ओ डी फूड चेन सी एच ए आई एन चेन विद डब्ल्यू आई टी एच विद द टी एच ई द फॉलोइंग एफ ओ एल एल ओ डब्ल्यू आई एन जी फॉलोइंग फोर्थ रोम द फर्स्ट वन इज फॉर्म अ फूड चेन विद द फॉलोइंग कॉपी एंड राइट चिल्ड्रन ए S S in capital N A K E snake come on G G in capital R A I N S grains come on E E in capital A G L E eagle comma rat or or in capital A T rat okay in first question the A one is snake S N A K E snake grains G R A I N S grains eagle e a g l e eagle rat or a t rat so the first question snake grains eagle rat you have children now we are going to make a food chain with the following things right so shall we start to learn first we have to draw some grains few grains we have to draw what are these children these are grains s next draw an aromat like this okay and next now we have to draw a rat okay draw a tail of the rat give a curve the end of the tail draw legs of the rat next s give full stop what is this i next draw an arrow mark again so now we are going to draw a snake so listen to me carefully children so which is very simple drawing only so watch carefully better you pause the video and draw the snake and give do two dots okay now draw the small lines to cover the body of 
snake okay and draw the tongue of the snake now draw an eagle so draw the curve beak of the eagle now draw the body which means neck of the eagle and give the shade draw an eye okay now let's label the pictures what is the first one grains g r a i n s grains right what is it s rat r a t rat next one snake s n a k e snake the last one is s e a g l e eagle I repeat this children grains what is this grains g r a i n s grains what is it next second one rat r a t rat the third one is snake s n a k e snake the last one is eagle e a g l e eagle okay grains rat snake and eagle so who eats the grains rat eats the grains and snake eats the rat and the eagle eats the snake so this is what the food chain okay children so copy and write in your class work thank you children